Hey, what's up, what's up? It's the Blue Beauty, and today I'm coming to you guys because I just made this wig here. Now, this can either be a U-part wig or it can be a full lace wig, which I have here. I have my closure and then I have my wig. The crazy thing about this particular wig is it fits perfect for your head. I know sometimes we get these wig domes here and we use these and they're either too big or too small and they just don't fit for our particular heads. Today I'm going to be showing you a method where you can get a wig that fits perfect for your particular hair. Now um, stay tuned to see how I got my hair to be like this. Now I don't have any combs in it, any clamps, any clips, however the wig will be 100% more secure if you do have those. I don't have any in my hair right now, I just have the cap on my head and that's it, it's not sewn down or anything like that and it's fitting pretty good um, but I most definitely will recommend putting clips or sewing it onto your head but um, I'm just showing you it like this just so you'll know with nothing in it it fits perfectly and yeah so this is the Blue Beauty stay tuned so now is two bobby pins a wig head dome cap and thread of course and my needle so I already started laying the first two tracks so I'll show you what I do basically I just have my hair down now and um, I just put the dome cap on it fits and I'll take my hair and I'll just measure <clears throat> where the next track should be laid over to about here. Now what I'm going to do now is take my bobby pins and I'm going to bobby pin that where I want it to be. Here. here. Doing this allows you to get the perfect measurements for your particular head because if you just put it on a dome cap and sew it on there first it might not be the same measurements as your particular head. So I'm going to just take that off. So my body pants are in place, which are measured based off where my hair is. And now I'm just going to sew on the weft. Based off my body pants are like they're, they're basically your markers to know where The track should go and you always want to go through the wet on your very first track so it can be nice and flat you always want to go even if you're flipping or so I'm just doing about an inch apart between each one And a centimeter between each track because I do have a lot of hair and I want to utilize it all. You need a three. You want to loop the thread around the needle so you can create a knot. You want to have a knot there so that's nice and secure. And just keep going. Again, I'll be showing this part where you can get it really snug in here. So I already have these tracks laid here. So what I'm going to do now is I have two bobby pins in my track hair. What you want to do is take it and the next part where you want your next track to start, which I want mine right here. Just going to take the hair, place it there, grab my bobby pin. I want this to be right here. So, take another bobby pin. I'm 
and then just slide it up there. Perfect. So now, where I know where I want my to, my new my next track to lay, you just want to take that off and put it right back on your wig cap and sew that part on. So we basically know where we want this track to go. We want this track to start here. So what I'm gonna do here now is sew this one on. So starting at the beginning of your track, you always want to go through the weft. Always. This is key because you want a flat surface. Okay? That again, just so we know it's not going anywhere. This time we don't actually have to go through the weft. It's not necessary. So we just push that through, take our thread, if I can find it, here we are, and wrap that around the needle, making sure we don't get any hair in there, pulling that needle through, holding down so our knot can be nice and tight, keep pulling. All this hair is getting in my way. about halfway so here's what it looked like so far it's like right at the back of my head here and over to this side so now what I'm gonna do now is <laughs> now what I'm gonna do now but um what I'm gonna do is apply my closure here's my closure came from a local beauty supply store now this was the front and had I had layers but now I just think I want a straight hairstyle so what I'm gonna do is flip that around so now I have long hair in the front without layers in the front. Place my closure where I want it. Like right in the middle here. And I'm gonna body pin that down. I'm not finished. I have a halfway more to go. A little bit less than half because I'm not part of the closure. So, I'm going to sew this down and be right back. So, I finished making my wig and I did not have a, a cap to put on my head. So I just used some tights and I cut the legs out. You want to find one that's sort of similar to your scalp. And now I'm just applying the wig. I took a little bit of my hair on the front just so it could be a little bit more natural. But that stocking cap underneath is doing an awesome job. Look how Look how great it just blends in with my scalp. So I'm just parting it, getting it to blend really nicely, getting everything lined up. And I love it. It's great if it's so perfect to my head. Hope that you are able to make your wig fit perfectly for your head. Good luck. 
and this is the blue beauty if you have any questions or if you want to know any further information or any questions about this hair or anything in general please feel free to ask me down in the comments below and also please like my video and subscribe to my channel please follow me on instagram at janita blue and remember be blessed be beautiful and be you this is the blue beauty i'll see you later